Hello friends and family and welcome to In the Kitchen with Leanna. I am Leanna and we're going to be today making Chicken Divan, another one of Jim's favorite dishes. And so let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with, turn still on, four tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to let that melt. We're making a sauce here for our, that's a casserole, really. Okay, so our butter is melted, and I'm going to add six tablespoons of flour, and four teaspoons of chicken bouillon. And I'm just going to make a roux out of that. And cook it for just, just a minute so that the flour cooks a little. Okay, and then we're going to gradually add four cups of milk and we're gonna we're gonna just stir it and wait for it to thicken it's gonna it's gonna come to a boil and thicken which doesn't take too too long My graduals aren't very gradual. I think I'm an impatient person. How's that <laughs> for gradual? <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna let this thicken up. It's gonna, it'll take a few minutes for it to get warm. Okay, so this is all bubbly and hot and thickened up, so I'm going to take it off the stove. You don't have to. I do because of what my stove is. And now, we're going to add a cup of mayonnaise. And two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Mix it together. The sauce is what really makes this dish so yummy. I don't know, the broccoli and the chicken together. Yeah. Does quite a bit too. Yeah. Okay, so that's all. Mix that. Now a casserole dish. And I have some broccoli. You can just use frozen broccoli, just thaw it out. Um, just, you don't have to prepare the dish or anything with cooking spare. So just throw it in there. And then I have a whole chicken. It was a small chicken um, that I cooked earlier and deboned. And I'm going to throw that on. And then, 
going to dump our sauce over the top. Carefully, because it's hot. Carefully, because it's hot. This is one of the first dishes she prepared after we got together. Is it? Yeah. And I, I was in love. I guess. <laughs> Yes, I wanted to wow you, honey. Wow. <laughs> okay. So you wonder how I got from 178, 180 to at one time 247. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife's cooking. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to take some cheese, and I don't measure my cheese, I just put as much as I want, I'm just going to dump some on, it's, it's uh, white cheddar cheese, sharp, and I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the top, until I'm satisfied with how much is on there. That should work. I just cover the top with it. Okay. And now I have melted some butter in the microwave. Then I'm going to add it to my breadcrumbs. And then again, I don't measure this stuff. I just, it's, it's going to be enough to cover the top, is all. So, about how much butter and about how much? Um, Maybe Let me see. I've yeah, got probably see. a third of a cup of butter and I don't know a little better than a cup of um, breadcrumbs. Grab a spoon. Get all the crumbs wet with butter. And there we look. And really, friends, try this. You know, prep time minus the um, cooking of the chicken and deboning it. There's not much time in this. Cooks, what, half hour? Yeah, it cooks about a half an hour until it's bubbly. And... Just all nice and bubbly. But, yeah, about a half an hour. And it tastes so good. Okay. I like it best when we have our own broccoli out of the garden, but... Uh... We ran out early. I didn't have a good broccoli crop last year. Okay, so we're going to throw it in the oven, 350 degrees, for a half an hour. And then we'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. And I'll make Jim test it. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome back. Um, it's been in the oven now for a half an hour. It's nice and bubbly, and we're going to burn it out, so what it looks like. Mm. Okay, so there we have it. And now, my husband's going to see what it tastes like. Okay, so... Mr. Taste Tester, <laughs> bon appetit. And fair warning, it is very hot when it's it comes out of the be oven. Really hot. Normally, because we do dinner in a movie usually, we watch a faith-based movie. So she'll say dinner's ready. So I'll go and I'll set the the <laughs> trays up and. 
has a few minutes and then we usually pray and anyways so this is going to be very very hot but i know this is going to be good i love this dish <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. thank you so much i love it and this is why <laughs> i keep her around <laughs> mm. thank you for watching friends um if you like this video smash that like button if you haven't subscribed please do and ring the little bell and i'll see you next time i have an idea in mind um i know what it is too <laughs> and you you are gonna love this one too now the other thing um we're gonna be teaching tonight we teach every wednesday night on um it's called Pal Talk. Um, it's a platform easy to get onto. Um, there's only two rooms that I go in. The one that I go on Wednesday and the JNL and Ministries on uh, Sunday afternoons. So if you if you'd like to hear a message on Thursday morning or Sunday evenings, um, subscribe to the JNL Ministries um, channel on YouTube. You can see it in the description box. Um, we've had more people that have been coming and they're liking what they're hearing. I don't preach an easy word. Um, it's not a... I teach from the Bible. Anyways, we love you. We do. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you.